Nothing. Nothing bothers me, bro. I mean, I'm lies. I'm lies. Uh, what Diljeet did is like tremendous and especially being as a, uh, a guy from a Sikh family, we feel so proud that he made it to an international level. And as far as I know Diljeet, I know him since 2009. We worked together on an album called Next Level. I composed that whole album. I lived with him for one year. So as far as his talent and courage and caliber concerned uh, uh, reflects, he can do anything bigger than this. From then to know what has changed about Diljeet? Huh? From then to know what has changed about him? He's safe. He's similar. Is that what people success? I, I think so. Because he was so, he, he was just like this. He was same. In old times, he was so hardworking, so honest, so introvert. He never used to laugh too much, never used to talk too much. And I used to nag him a lot. Harry Singh version 1 and Harry Singh version 2. What is different in that? I have 158 versions. <laughs> Better than your iPhone, baby. You would just stick on 16 words. <laughs> Okay, sir, one last shot, please. Here. Yeah, I'm perfect. This, this, you need courage to do everything in life. I belong to a very small place called Karampura, New Delhi City, West Delhi. And where I, I'm standing in iPhone. It's been uh, so many years I'm doing this thing. What is bringing me back again and again is discouraged. So, and if you talk about alcohol, you don't need courage. You have to extreme it, then you leave it. <laughs> I think you should watch the documentary. It's coming this year on Netflix. It's a world release, not just India Netflix. They're going to release in 200 countries. So the editing is going on. They, I don't know when they're going to announce the date. So it's everybody you know me through my music, my music videos, my lyrics, my performances, my wild things I've ever done, my controversies. But who's real me? Like the people who know me personally, like who I am. You're going to see that in my documentary. Uh, uh, are you a musician? You know, the advent of AI these days in music is, is something that you're seeing as a musician. As an artist, how, what do you want to say about it? It's amazing, bro. Trust me. There's one little guy, little lad from Delhi. His name is Anshuman Sharma and he did the first AI what I heard of Rafi Sahab and uh, that uh, Jodha Akbar song by Rahman sir. That composition of Rahman sir and Rafi Sahab, he made it a remake of it. And when I heard it for the first time, I was like, what is this? This is amazing. So everything, either is tech, either is computer science, either is medical science, either is alcohol, either is party, either is study, excess, excess of everything is bad. Hi, Garmin. 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 Hi, my legs are shaking, though. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually introducing Sir on stage. Wow! Oh. What did I say? What did I say? Did I just say that? Yeah. Oh my God! No, I don't know. You, you need to watch this. This is this is going to be an act and a half. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be an act and a half. Sorry. Bacha, we are in Ipa, and you know, when we talk about movies these days and also music. Truly, the borders have like you know fizzled out. What do you have to say as an artist? Does it give you a lot of advantage to do different kind of I think good music is good music. Doesn't matter where it comes from. And uh, you know, we as music listeners, we don't believe in borders. Yeah. But so when you started to rap, the you know the genre was not very present in our country. Yeah. What are the challenges? No challenges at all. No challenges. You just enjoy what you do. There are no challenges. Bacha, bacha. 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 Bacha, bac